Life can be pretty hard for lizards. When speed and agility are your best way to avoid being eaten, evolving to lose your legs probably sounds like the worst survival strategy imaginable. But one lizard has done exactly that, and this bizarre adaptation has made them more successful than you would ever believe. Lizards are a super overlooked and underrated group of animals, which is honestly a shame, because if you really dig deep into their lives, they have some of the craziest stories of survival you'll ever hear. And deep in the pine forests of Louisiana, there's one species that breaks all of the rules for what you might think a lizard should be, and that is our target today. My name is Evan, and this is Harrison. We're twin brothers on a mission to make you an insider in the natural world, and a big part of that is sharing the stories of the weirdest and coolest creatures that you've never seen before. Tonight, we're searching for the Eastern Glass Lizard, a species we've been trying to find again for years. Now, we've worked with glass lizards before down in Florida, but our inexperience at the time caused us to make a critical mistake. Careful, Stop careful. Oh. oh my god, it's a glass lizard. And you just lost its tail. Suffice to say that things in the field don't always go as planned. Luck seems to be on our side tonight, though, because it only took a little bit of searching for Harrison to spot exactly what we've been hoping to see. Glass lizard. Whole oh. tail, too. Completely unbroken. Why are you not moving? This is not the smartest lizard, apparently, but one that we really wanted to see. And I have to be so careful. Hi. This is a lizard that Evan and I have been trying to get redemption on for many years. We filmed one before, but we caught it in the dark. So we weren't able to see this, the unbroken tail. Thank you. <laughs> this is the Eastern Glass Lizard, one of the coolest lizards in all of the United States. All right. I think, honestly, right here is fine. Let's get set up and take a look because that thing is so cool. And there it is. You have no idea how long we have wanted to make this video. Ever since we caught the first one a few years ago in Florida, we've been waiting for the opportunity to showcase this animal properly. That is the Eastern Glass Lizard. Now, I know probably the first thing a lot of people are thinking looking at this animal is, man, those guys have lost the plot. That is 100% a snake, but it's not. This is a true lizard. And actually, there's some pretty easy ways to tell the difference between this guy and any sort of snake. Absolutely, so if you take a look at his head, that's where a bunch of the identifying features will be. For one thing, this guy has movable eyelids. They can blink. Snakes can't, they don't have eyelids at all. And then another feature that's even more obvious, he has ears. That's what those little holes behind his head are. And now snakes will not have that. Just by looking at his face, that's two ways we can tell. And actually, when when you take a close look at their head, it is really lizard-like. They have sort of a skink-looking head, that really pointed snout, the round pupils in the eyes. This is, to the trained eye, very clearly a lizard. Now, the most obvious feature that separates these lizards from any other kind of lizard that you think of is that they have evolved complete leglessness. And you're probably wondering why a lizard would ever evolve to lose its legs. What could possibly be the advantage in getting rid of such a useful appendage? Well, the interesting thing is this animal is totally adapted for a burrowing lifestyle. This is a fossorial animal. And if you look at his head, it has that really pointed shape because it allows them to dig really effectively. Any kind of soft substrate, dirt or sand, they can move through incredibly incredibly efficiently, and not having those legs getting in their way makes it that much easier for them to traverse those really tight underground spaces where they're going to be living and hunting. Now, this species has a pretty varied diet like a lot of lizards, but their main food out here, especially at this size, is going to be insects. They'll be eating all sorts of beetles and crickets and ants, anything that they can find on the ground. And they actually have surprisingly strong jaws, so they can crush up anything they're trying to eat. It's very much unlike how snakes eat. They actually can't expand their jaws out like a snake can. So they really have to rely on a little bit of power to break down their food. And there's another thing we can look at that distinguishes these guys from snakes. Take a look at the side of his body. You see that little indentation that runs down? Really, it's actually less than half of his length. That is called a lateral line. 
And what that does is it basically allows them to expand their bodies out when they eat prey that's larger than their body in its neutral state. Unlike snakes, these guys don't have the ability to expand and contract their ribs to accommodate large prey items, so they use that lateral line to be able to swallow down and crush all of the prey that they eat. And one of the interesting things about the lateral line is where it ends is where their tail begins. So on this animal, that's right about there. So that's definitely more than half its Absolutely. length. Absolutely. It's just tail. If you see us swatting around a bunch, by the way, we are getting absolutely eaten alive by deer <laughs> flies, but we're going to push through because this animal is so cool that it is absolutely worth it. Would you eat some of them, please? I really wish you would. Insectivore. Now, ugh. <laughs> now, we have to be extremely delicate when we're handling this animal because they have a really effective defense mechanism that makes them very hard to catch for any sort of predator out here. And it's actually where the name glass lizard comes from. They have an ability called caudal autonomy, which is essentially the ability to drop off their tail. They literally sever the muscles that connect their tail to their body. And when they do that, the tail will continue to wriggle around and distract the predator and allow them a chance to escape. And a lot of lizards can do this, but they are the masters of it. If we were to grab this guy with even a little bit too much force, he would pop that tail right off. And unfortunately, we learned that the hard way down in Florida a few years ago. Now, luckily, that tail will grow back, but it will never be quite as long or quite as pretty. We can instantly tell that this animal has never dropped his tail before because his pattern is continuous and he has that beautiful reddish orange color that runs all the way down to the tip. That is one of the signs that this is an unbroken glass lizard, and that is an exceptionally cool find. Now, as Harrison mentioned, the tail will grow back in a few weeks to months, depending on its length, but it's very energetically expensive. It takes a lot out of these guys to regrow that tail, and during the time that it's growing back in, they're missing basically their best defense mechanism against predation. Exactly. So it's very dangerous for these guys to be moving around without their tail, but that's why we want to be so incredibly careful and gentle with this lizard because the last thing we want to do is leave this guy defenseless against predation. They don't have any sort of venom. These are completely harmless to people, but one of the absolute coolest animals we get here in Louisiana, and frankly, in my opinion, in the entire country. So that is why we're so excited, even though this is a little guy, mm -hmm. they can actually grow pretty big. They can reach up to 108 centimeters, almost four feet in length. So this guy will still have a lot of growing left to do. Now we don't want to hang on to him for too, too long. At this time of night, they'd be moving around either hunting or going from burrow to burrow. It's really one of the only times that you'll see these guys above ground. They live a pretty secretive life. It's really not an animal that many people get to see. And even when they do, most often they probably get mistaken for snakes and often killed for that reason because people just hate snakes for some reason. That I'll never understand. Right. Now, luckily, this species is doing pretty well in the habitats that they're found in. They're not endangered or anything like that but unfortunately, their habitat is. So if we want to continue to see this incredible species in the wild, it's imperative that we protect these beautiful pine forests and everywhere else where they can be found. Now, I think we've held on to this guy long enough and we will get this beautiful lizard back on his way after we donate another pint of blood to the flies. Now, here's where things took a turn that we did not expect. Right after I made that comment about the flies, we stopped to get some extra close-ups of the lizard to round out the video. But we stopped feeling any flies around us, which was very odd. Little did we know, the flies were just the warm-up, because once they left, the swarm of termites arrived. Brother, brother, what is this? Oh gosh. You guys do not understand how big this swarm of termites is that just came in while we were filming. Holy cow. In case you were wondering, termites don't usually fly. This is a nuptial flight, an event where millions of individuals sprout wings and leave their home colonies in search of new breeding opportunities. And wouldn't you have it, a few thousand of them decided our filming lights and bodies were the perfect spot for that. God, bro, we're Brother, up. they're tracking us. Turn the light off, please, for all that is holy. <laughs> Let's just wait a minute. Needless to say, with literally hundreds of termites crawling all over us, we didn't manage to get many more good shots. So, sorry about that. 
The deer flies are gone and the termites have arrived. So we need to get out of Dodge, which means that this guy is free to get back on his way. Thank you for being such a good sport, giving us the redemption we so desperately needed. What, what a cool encounter. But I think it's over now that the termites have moved in. Wow, good stuff though. Chaotic as the end of this shoot was for us, it was totally worth finding out what the phrase skin crawling actually means to get this video. Glass lizards have one of the most seemingly unlikely life strategies of any animal, but it's endlessly fascinating to us that even the extreme move of giving up their legs turned out to be the best answer to the problems they face. It's not a fluke either, by the way, because there are legless lizards living on every continent except Antarctica. Nature is full of evolutionary marvels like this. Creatures so bizarre that it's hard to believe that they're even real. And it's stories like these that inspire us to dig deeper into how the natural world works and share it all with you. Now, glass lizards are undeniably weird, but believe it or not, there are lizards out there who have even crazier stories of success than they do. Down in the Galapagos Islands off of South America, there is one species that has conquered a habitat that no other lizard on Earth can endure the ocean. The marine iguana has quite possibly the most insane biology of any lizard, and if you want to find out how they manage to make a living underwater, check out this video where we find them doing it in the wild for ourselves. And with that, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Woo, come this way, woo. <laughs> I am the termite whisperer. I am, they are probably in my pants.